As the world continues to burn around us in an apocalyptic firestorm of Armageddon, and as people are being cancelled left and right, and as Hollywood teeters on the verge of bankruptcy, we can only hope, it seems that these woke idiots have learned nothing. But then, I guess we were mistaken in our belief that these numpties would change their ways. So all we can do is continue to laugh our asses off as they burn down the ruins of their pathetic woke empire of failure. Margaret Robbie, Christina Hodson, reteam for New Pirates of the Caribbean movie for Disney. Exclusive. And so we have yet another franchise about to get pooped on. And so the story goes, and it's one that we keep hearing over and over again. This project is separate from the already announced franchise reboot being developed by Pirates scribe Ted Elliott and Chernobyl creator Craig Mazin, and as always, everything has to be a reboot. And I believe it's now clear that Johnny Depp, you know the main reason for the franchise's success, will not be in this reboot. After all, he got temporarily cancelled after false accusations spread by that lovely fish lady that pooped on his bed. So it seems this will be yet another failed spin-off to another series. Good lord! This is the Birds of Prey playbook all over again. You think these people would get fired, but they won't. Margaret Robbie is setting sail with help from her Birds of Prey writer, Christina Hodson. And there we have it. And for the record, I finally got a chance to see Birds of Prey, and my god! This is in the running to be one of the worst movies, if not the worst movie I've ever seen. And not in a fun, so bad it's good way like The Room or Battlefield Earth. Nope, this thing was painful. Even if you take out the anti-male crap, this thing is just dire. Terrible acting, terrible plot, terrible action sequences, terrible directing, confounding music choices. In summary, it was terrible on every level. But then you have the identity politics, and this movie is so anti-male that you find yourself convinced that it must be a parody. There's no way they are serious. Well, sorry to tell you, but yep, they're serious. Then you just get sad for the future of humanity. R.I.P. DCEU, it was nice knowing you. But hey, these days the modus operandi is to reward failure, ensuring that you will have even more failure. And so, Hodson has been tapped to write a new female-fronted Pirates of the Caribbean for Disney, with Robbie attached to Star. And there we have it. As I keep saying, let's just do the same thing again and again and hope for a different result. And when the film flops horribly, they'll blame the fans, accept no responsibility, and then try the same thing again. This is the very definition of stupidity. But then, hey, this is modern Hollywood, so we should be expecting as much. While the plot details are being kept in Davy Jones' locker, that's okay, we already have a pretty good idea of what they will be. The project, in early development, is not intended to be a spin-off of the long-running franchise that had pirate Jack Sparrow at its center, but rather a wholly original story with new characters under the pirate's moniker, itself inspired by the long-running attraction at Disneyland. Is Disneyland still a thing? And if it's based upon Pirates of the Caribbean, then that makes it a spin-off! The new project is said to be separate from the already announced reboot of the popular franchise that had pirates scribe Ted Elliott and Chernobyl creator Craig Mazin developing the story. One must wonder if that reboot will even take place after this thing flops. And why does everything have to be a reboot? Oh, never mind, how silly of me. The woke hacks in Hollywood can't come up with anything new, so they just wokeify and destroy every existing franchise possible. I mean, what's left at this point? Longtime Pirates producer Jerry Bruckheimer is attached to produce both the Elliot Mazin project and this new Robbie Hodson project. I hope he saved his money. Pirates of the Caribbean is one of the most lucrative film franchises of all time. Not for much longer, it isn't grossing over $4.5 across five feature films. And probably not much beyond that. But the Pirates franchise, fronted by Johnny Depp, has shown its age. That dirty old evil pooping fish lady marrying white dude. With the fifth installment, 2017's Dead Men Tell No Tales, coming in with the second lowest box office of the series. $795 million, unadjusted worldwide. Only ahead of the original film, Curse of the Black Pearl. So let's just aim for lower then. The studio has been plotting ways to revive the brand with stories from new talent. Talent? That's an interesting term. Hodson is one of Hollywood's go-to blockbuster writers. How can you say that with a straight face? With credits that include Transformers spinoff, Bumblebee, the only thing she's written that isn't complete garbage. Her other two films are the 7% Rotten Tomatoes bomb, Shut in, and an even bigger bomb in Unforgettable. But hey, this money losing hack is a go to writer because wokeness, yo. As well as DC superhero projects The Flash, which now has Michael Keaton reprising his famous role of Batman 
And Batgirl! Poor Michael Keaton. I guess old Batman is meant to symbolize the patriarchy. Destroy the past, yo. Robbie's recent features include Bombshell, which itself bombed, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, a supporting part, and she will next be seen in James Gunn's The Suicide Squad sequel. God only knows what that one's gonna bring. In addition to collaborating on Birds of Prey, Robbie and Hodson, together in 2019, launched the Lucky Exports Pitch Program, a new initiative aimed at getting more female-identifying writers hired by studios to write action-centric movies. Why am I not surprised? Just keep giving money to people like Hodson because I guess they can afford to piss it away. And if they are qualified and talented, then she Sure, hire them, but only hire them based on that. Instead, we get hacks like Hodson. So get ready, folks. We have another train wreck to follow into the flaming dumpster fire. And that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and check your subscription and notification status because YouTube is now deleting subscribers as quickly as they come in. And follow me on Twitter. And as always, everyone, thank you for watching and have a great day.